So if you've been working with GeoNodes for a while, you realize it sooner or later that working with UVs is a bit tricky when it comes to instances, especially. So currently I have a simple thing going on over here, nothing, nothing complicated. And over there I have added a material and on that material we have this simple color going on. But if I add a texture to it, you'll see that it, well, it does, it kind of takes the color of it, but here's how the actual texture should be looking. And that's not how it's looking. So why is that? Well, it's because we're working with instances and the UV attribute that well initially is possessed by, let's say this cube. So I'll have to connect this right over here, right? So over here in the face corner, you'll see that we have a UV attribute, but that is not being transferred on the instances. So if I do this, there we go. So now that is that is not being transferred over here. And you can see that over here in the face corner, we, got, we get nothing. So how do we fix that? Well, the fix is pretty easy. All you got to do is add in a realize instances node. So right here, this one. So just put it in here before the material node and after all that instancing is being done. And you'll notice that all the, this, this area is, well, it's gone. But now we have uh, all of these attributes available to us. And over here in the face corner, we now have a UV attribute. So UV map attribute here but you, you'll notice that nothing has changed over here and that is because this is not doing anything what we have to do is bring in that attribute so i'm going to type in attribute over here in the shader editor so i'm in the shader editor here and then i'm going to type in the name of the attribute now that is going to be this thing right over here so just type in uv underscore map and it's a vector right so it's a vector so i'm just going to this vector over here and there we go it's working now of course the lighting of the scene is pretty bad so let me just go over here in the look dev mode which is just bad so i think i'll stick with <laughs> the current lighting conditions but you can see that it is working and it's working just fine so if i change the scale of it you'll see that it's increasing if i make it something like 0.2 it's stretching so yeah so that's that's the whole point of this tutorial uh I know some of you might already know this, some of you might not, so this was for those who did not know this. But yeah, so that, that's the whole tutorial. I hope you guys learned something today, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, be infinite.